in my case, I had two young kids being a single mother and I didn't know what to do. And I thought, okay, what do I like doing? What do I have a passion for? What have I been interested in? And solar always just came to the forefront of my mind because when I was younger, my grandparents lived on the Navajo res reservation. I am Navajo. My grandparents on my mom's side in 2000, they got a, a new house built for them from the Navajo Nation. And along with that came a solar array, which I thought was awesome. And so, so to be like 15, 16 years old and going to my grandparents' house where they had no electricity, no running water to go into the house and flip a switch and just be like, oh, my God, this is so cool. And also to see my grandparents' lives, like they're traditional Navajos, but to see their lives be more easy for them to live their traditional lives was just really awesome to see. So fast forward 15, 14 years, and I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do as a single mom? And I have two kids. What quote unquote legacy can I leave behind? And I had been passing this school called Ecotech Institute Renewable Energy School. And one day, just not even thinking about it, drove in, had my son, who was two months old at the time, went in, talked to a recruiter, signed up for school, and the next week went into orientation with my two-month-year-old son in his car seat and just started school. And once I started getting into the industry, learning the verbiage, learning what is expected of a solar installer, someone who's in the solar industry, I picked it up so fast. And it just really came natural to me. So for me to be, I don't know if it's hurtled into this, but just I, I had to figure out what I was going to do because leaving a, a bad relationship, it was just like, what's next? And then for me to find something that just clicked was really serendipitous. My last question for you today is for anybody listening, what advice do you have for them if they are wanting to get into solar and do similar work to what you're doing? Okay. I love this question because I think it's just, just do it. If you have an inkling, if you have a curiosity, if there's that itch that you want to scratch, just do it. If you can find a company that will give you a working interview, even better. Jump on it. Even if you don't know how to hold a power tool, if you don't know how to use a hammer, if you've never been on a roof, you never know what you're capable of until you actually just do it. So if you're wanting to get into the industry, just do it. You never know. <laughs>